Hello guys, it's Cackling Panda again, and this is the second part of the RSV2 post-com strategizing video type thing. Uh, sorry, it's been a while for the second episode, and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. I was just kind of testing it out first, didn't really know if people would like it so much, honestly. So, um, you know, last video I was doing offense, this video I'm doing hardcore defense, so... Towards the end of the video, it gets kind of boring. Sorry for that. But the next episode should be pretty good. Part 3. That should be out sometime this week also. So it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, so yeah, I just did that super derp off the bridge, if you guys remember, to episode 1. Sorry if you guys just heard that. That was me just fiddling with stuff with my... <laughs> you know, whatever. Uh, so I was very mad at this guy. I was like, come on, you're just taking my water away. Always get your water. Always get your water. You never know when you're going to be lava. I swear. You always need to get your lava. Water. Um, water. You got to check. I checked the wall there to see which ones they had, if they even had any. Because you don't want to defend a wall that they already have. And I see that there's a guy there, so, you know, I got to take him on. Shooting some shots. Keep him locked down. If you can keep him in a certain area, that's a lot better than uh, just rushing in there and dying. You don't have to kill them to be good at defense. Really just holding them down is key. It really is key. So I'm trying to predict where he's going to go. I know he's going to be up there. And I'm shifting the race this time so he won't see my nameplate. Even though he sees me, why not shift? I should be moving a little bit. I do move there, just out of his arrow. And then I kind of spam the arrow here. I think this is a better way to shoot, but I don't know. This is just how I shoot, so... Uh, I'm getting some good hits, but I do need to work on my accuracy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, so here I'm like, okay, alright, let me make myself a bunker. I'm going to make myself an easy path out in case he comes. This is stupid. I should check behind me. You should always check behind you because he's right behind me. He is right behind me. That was just stupid. And then I'm, I'm trying to block hit, but I'm not good at it at all. Oh, and you get stuck in the water. You got to know where you are, your awareness. So I know he has one of our wolves, possibly two of our wolves. Wolves. And so I know, I know I have to go after him. Even though I don't have stuff, he could win it right here. So, you know, you really, you can't just sit back. I know I said make armor first, and you really should always make armor first, but if you know they're about to win, go ahead and just attack them, or, you know, defend. Because, he... I, yeah, you just need to defend. I'm looking for my armor, seeing hopefully maybe some armor's there so I don't have so I can get some armor without having to go out and make some. But it's not. I got a water bucket though, so I put that on my heart brush just in case. I see is that B Bow. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce his name, but I see he's running. That's the guy who killed me. So I know and I can get a hit on him. If you're running after them, just wait until you can get a nice hit on them. And you can hit him right there and wow, look, he just went flying, he didn't expect that hit right into the lava. That was perfect. And I hit him, and I kill him. See, you just gotta take chances like that, because you know that other people are gonna be damaging him. And look at this. I get a full set of iron armor. Don't have to make it. A nice bow. And I get rid of the wolves. I get rid of the carrier. That is... That is good. So, as much as you really should, if, you, if you're going for KD, definitely don't do what I just did. If you're going for KD, automatically just go and you know, don't take on anybody who has diamond armor, take on people who only have iron armor, etc, etc. But I'm playing defense, I'm trying to win the game here, so I had to go after him because I knew he could have both wolves, and he did. So good thing I went after him, right? So I know there's probably nobody else in here right now, so I'm, I'm thinking, okay, just checking to make sure nobody else is in here, while in this in, you know, make it harder for them to come over here. And then I'm going to start building a wall defense, because it's late game, there's no time for elaborate defenses anymore so I'm just making a wall. Literally I'm just making a wall. So it's not very exciting which is why you'll see in a couple seconds here I'll fast forward because I end up derping with the soul sand trying to make you know one of those one way entrance things and I totally just screwed up. Um, he, he, here's a really a really important lesson. If you don't know how to do something 100% don't do it. Like I'm trying to make this stupid one way door which I now know how to do by the way. Thank you very much. <laughs> but oh, just look how, look at all this derpitude. That's what I like to call it, derpitude. Just don't do that. 
What I really should be doing is making that wall, getting water to make a water, push people back, or looking forward, because my back's turned all the time here. And somebody could just rush up here, get a couple hits on me before I even realize what's happening, and I'm dead. And my defense is worthless. This was possibly the stupid defense mistake I could make. And I'm like, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So now I just start building the wall here. Uh, you know, just a typical, just literally just a wall, because you you need something to stop them, and height advantage as an archer is amazing, especially if you have a height advantage over those cobwebs. You can shoot them as they're coming up, or they get stuck in the cobwebs, or you can shoot them and they get on the other side of the cobwebs and they have to pillar back over, and it slows them down a lot. Having a height advantage on this side is amazing. Also, it lets you see where the ground is broken below you, so if any of the ground is broken, you know that they've been there, which is important. Because if you've seen that nobody's, somebody's been there, you know, maybe they've been through the wall, so you gotta check. You gotta check behind you, even if you're defending, because you never know when somebody's gonna slip behind you. You never know. Somebody could slip through my defense right now, and I wouldn't know. You always gotta check. Always, always, always. And then here's some uh, more dervitude here. Don't waste resources. Even if you have unlimited resources, don't waste them. Like, I'm making this two layers thick, and it's just a waste of time. It is a total waste of time to make this two layers thick of glass. How does that help me at all? Not at all. If you're making defensive, if you're doing anything, try not to waste resources. That is huge. Okay, so here, I'm just waiting. Uh, I see... This guy I'm defending, I'm looking forward, I'm making sure nobody comes over to my side. Just gotta make sure that nobody gets through, my wall's pretty much set up. As you can see, that's like, you know, 100% more off uh, defense than the other side, which is better. And so you see this, this glass pillar here, or glass walkway that's coming towards my, it's really close, it's really level with my wall here. And that's dangerous, obviously. If they come over here and they sprint jump onto the wall, possibly, well, I mean, uh, 1v1, I'm not the best 1v1 PvP fighter. I know that's my weakness, so I know I gotta take people on at range. And this is definitely the best way to do it. If And this is really dangerous, I recommend only really destroying sky bridges like this if you have another person with you, but since I wasn't communicating with anybody, you know, I have to, I have to do it myself. You, things gotta get done. So, so I destroy that bridge, and now it's crystal clear. It's amazing. A lot better. A lot better. Now, but now they'll have to bridge all the way across, and hopefully I'll be able to see them before that, because, and I'll be able to shoot them off. And here's another guy. So he gets stuck in the cobwebs. I shoot him back over the cobwebs. It's really good. So, um, it's also very useful if you have not that great at aim like I do. I mean, it took me like four shots to even hit him, and it really compensates for lack of accuracy if you can get your hands on one of these. And uh, if you're that guy, oh wait, sorry, you don't want to be that guy. Don't ruin other people's defenses. Even if you're going to patch them up, it's just so rude. I see this guy with diamond armor. You got to shoot him. You can't have him run. And mm, that punch bow. That punch bow totally destroyed him that's what I was saying those punch bow power one bows if you get your hands on those you want your KD to go just camp the back you'll get so many kills it's ridiculous punch kill I mean obviously that wasn't a kill for me but you know whatever so it's kind of uh boring here so <laughs> as you can see it just kind of derp there with the arrow flarp well I guess can you flarp in uh on an RFW match so yeah, defense is boring, but you get your KD up. I mean, look, two shots, he's dead. And I kind of charge those up. Uh, you know, I really don't know if it's better to charge up all the way and get, like, three good hits or just kind of spam it like I do. I don't know. But here's another tactic if you have. Um, you'll actually see this even better in the next episode, what you can do with only one bucket of water. You will see what you can do. But, uh, you know, water there, that's going to push them back, make it harder for them, they're going to move slower, so it gives me more time to shoot them, which is good, and I'm like, oh, gotta fancy it up, because why not, but, uh, you know, and then I'm here, you know, looking at this, because 
seeing who has what wolves. We're in the lead, which is good, making sure they didn't get any wolves, because you got to check, because you never know if somebody gets out with orange wool, especially the one you're not making. Orange wool is the one I'm not camping, by the way, so that's that. Um, and you'll see here I'm trying like different uh, orientations of the water, where to place it. And this, this is what you'll see here. See, it catches the water stream so it stays there. So now we have two water streams going down. And you'll see, uh, I, don't, I don't think it's in this episode, but the next episode I actually do that all the way along. So one bucket of water, and you can have water flowing all the way down. Because I was debating on whether to go out and get a second bucket of water so I could go and uh, do that. But I decided against it because it would take too much time. Uh, and so here, you want to have multiple ways out. This is, as it's a good defense, but if they get up here with like two, three people, it's going to be bad. So what I'm doing here is kind of building a little staircase that I could easily go down if I wanted to. Or it'd hide me from people. It would allow me to block myself in and get away. It's an escape route. Always have one of those. Always have an escape route. Those are good. So that's it for this episode, guys. I will see you in episode three, which is also about defense. See ya.